Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me to have a look at this, this week's word of the week uh, which is care today. So we're going to start our time in prayer today with the sign that reminds us how much God cares for us and how much he loves us. We're going to make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. So this week's word is care and we're all really lucky that we're going to have lots of people in our lives who care about us, whether that's mummies or daddies or aunts or uncles or other family members, friends, teachers, there are loads of people who care about you. Some of you might have mummies or daddies or aunts or uncles or other people that you know who work in hospitals. There might be doctors, nurses or other people who, who work there whose job it is to care for and look after people who are poorly and that's amazing. God cares for us as well, more than anything else, more than anyone else in the whole world. And the story that we're going to look at today is one that Jesus tells to remind us just how much God cares for us and that he would do anything for us. So this is a reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. What do you do? You leave the other 99 sheep in the pasture and go looking for the one who has got lost until you find it. When you find it, you are so happy that you put it on your shoulders and carry it back home. Then you call your friends and neighbours together and tell them, I am so happy, I have found my lost sheep. Let us celebrate. The Gospel of the Lord. In that story, Jesus tells us about a shepherd who's lost his sheep. Well, he's lost one of his sheep, hasn't he? And he cares about that sheep so much that he goes out to look for it. He doesn't just think, well, I've got another 99 here, that's fine. He goes to look for the one sheep that's lost because he cares for it. Now, the shepherd in the story represents God. I wonder if you can tell me who the sheep represents. Have a go. Yes, that's right. So the, the sheep represents us, me or you. And it shows us that God would do anything for us. He would, if when, when we're lost or when, some, when we're upset or something's wrong, he would do anything to come and help us and, and comfort us and make us feel a bit better. But as we thought about at the beginning of this video, we've also got lots of other people in our lives who do anything for us and are there to look after us and care for us, whether we're sick or we're feeling lonely or feeling a bit upset. So what I think we should do today is to say thank you to those people. So your mission today, after this video, is to make a card or a letter or draw a picture or something to say thank you to someone in your life who's cared for you and looked after you. It could be uh, a letter that you post to your nearest hospital to say thank you to the doctors and nurses there who've looked after people that are poorly. It might be a picture you draw for your mum or daddy or whoever looks after you to say thank you for everything they do for you. Or it could be a thank you card for your teacher or your teaching assistant or someone in school to let them know how fantastic they are. So that's your mission and I'm sure you're going to make someone very happy by saying thank you to them for everything they do for you. We're going to end our time together by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you next time.